Good evening, everyone. Before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing and recap, let's all pause for a moment of silence in the event of that very horrific shooting that took place in an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut from today. And let's also pause for a moment of silence for a mall shooting that took place in Oregon, I'm 264 Shirts, home state. Two very horrific events that occurred this week. Very, very sad deaths. Thank you very much. profanity toward the contestants' decision-making and pricing games that can be categorized as either stupid or being misled by the audience that's portrayed as a heel for entertainment purposes only. In reality, Mr. Horgan doesn't show any prejudice toward the contestants based on their gender, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Friday the 14th of December, 2012. At this time, I'd like to give a thank you to Ben Mason Television for supplying me on the pricing games that were played today as CBS2, my CBS affiliate, that's also the same for Sports Guy 528, and for Fresh Training 92, if I'm not mistaken, and today's airing got interrupted because of the breaking news involving what happened in Connecticut. So I had to watch the episode on CBS.com just now, and here we go. Here are the pricing games that were played today to end the week. Clock game, range game, gas money, most expensive, Pathfinder, and Take Two. Jamie from Salt Lake City was the first contestant. She played clock game for a chance to win these two prizes. A three-piece toony durable nylon luggage set that has one messenger bag, a carry-on, and one roller suitcase, modeled by the ravishing and pregnant Rachel Reynolds. A pair of Canon point-and-shoot digital cameras that have 12.1 megapixels, five-time optical zoom, and three-inch LCD screens modeled by the awesome Amber Lancaster, and as a bonus, a trip to Cancun, Mexico, that included a seven-night all-inclusive stay, including daily spa pass and dinner one night at the Live Aqua Cancun Resort, or is it pronounced Live Aqua? Whatever way it's pronounced, it was courtesy of LivingSocial.com, and that was modeled by the marvelous Manuel Arbolaez. So Jamie was actually playing for three prizes, plus a $1,000 bonus. Now when the 30 seconds began, Jamie placed the following bids for the luggage set. 500, higher, 600, higher, 800, higher, 1,000, lower, 900, higher, 950, lower, 925, lower, 910, higher, 915, and she got it! Took her nine seconds, she now had 21 seconds left to win the cameras. And here are the big sheet plates. 1,000, lower, 700, higher, 750, higher, 900, lower, 800, higher, 850, higher, 875, lower, 825, higher, 830, higher, 840, higher, 850, higher, 890, lower, 870, lower, 860, lower, 855, higher, 856, higher, 857, higher, 858, and she got it! And guess what, folks? She only had half a second left when she got that bid in. Wow, we! 20 and a half seconds it took her to win the cameras. She won both prizes totaling $1,773 plus the $1,000 bonus 
making it $2,773 plus the trip to Cancun. John, from Escondido, California, originally from Crawfordsville, Indiana, who works for Aerospace, he sells stuff to Aerospace, was the second contestant. He played range game for a chance to win a 14-foot Lido sailboat with trailer included. The sailboat seats up to six, features a non-skid cockpit and cruising sails with window jib sheets. Modeled by Manuela. The lowest price on the range was $8,900. The highest price on the range was $9,500. John froze the $150 range between about $9,205 and $9,355. And when the actual retail price lit up in the dark green strip, it was $9,326! John became a winner! Alexis a paralegal from San Antonio, Texas was the third contestant. She played gas money for a chance to win a Fiat 500 Pop hatchback modeled by Rachel plus $10,000 in cash. The five car prices were $20,400, $17,200, $19,300, $19,500, $19,500, Alexis first chose $17,200, believing that price had gas money behind it and not the pink slip to the car. You know, I have to say, that is a very familiar price. I can recall my friend Neil Rocks 87 recapping Pass the Buck back in May uh, with that same car being played and the price was given, $17,200. Well, when Rachel revealed what 17200 had, it was... Folks, it pays to watch the show if you know the prices. That was the pink slip to the car. Rachel showed us 19300 having $4,000. 18600 having $3,000, and although the camera cut to Drew, it did show Rachel reveal what 21700 had. Although we didn't see it, it had $1,000. How do we know that? Well, Drew revealed 20400 to have $2,000. What a shame for Alexis. Karen, a marine mom whose son is in Fort Lee, was the fourth contestant. She played most expensive for a chance to win these three prizes. A 17 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator that has modern styling, eight shelves, and a clear full width deli drawer, modeled by Rachel. A Bull Outdoor Products seven burner premium stainless steel barbecue cart that features a double side burner, dual high roll top hood, heavy-duty grill grates, and temperature gauge, modeled by Manuela, and a 12-piece Michael Kors accessory neutral tone leather crock and boss and animal print collection that has seven bags, two clutches, and three wallets, modeled by Amber. Karen believed that the refrigerator was the most expensive prize. Part of me thought that myself, but I had a bad feeling on one of the prizes. I'll let you know what that is when I get to it. First, Manuela revealed the price of the barbecue cart, and that was $2,800. Now, Amber revealed the Michael Kors collection. That was $3,536. This was the one I was worried about, folks. So, if the refrigerator was more than $3,536, Karen would win all three prizes. And Rachel revealed the price of the refrigerator when it was time, and it was only $1,599. Shocking! Oh, 
boy, Mike Richard sure loves those uh, designer des designer junk his Neil Rock's 87 coffin. He loves it so much, why don't he marry it? <laughs> All right. Jason, a quality engineer from San Diego, was the fifth contestant. He played Pathfinder for a chance to win a 2013 Ford Fiesta SE modeled by Manuela. I I'm sorry, folks. I I'm, I'm just still a, a, a little, little laughy about uh, the Pee Wee Herman joke I pulled on Mike Richards just now. All right, uh, Jason stepped on the one as that was the first number in the price of the car. Rachel modeled the three small prizes, which were a nonstick waffle maker, the dreaded nonstick waffle maker, I might add. The Pop and Hoppies game from University Games, and a cake pop maker that has a nonstick baking plate and makes six mini cakes at a time. Jason first went, stepped on the seven that was behind him instead of the five on his left, the six in front of him, or the four on his right. I was thinking six was the second number. Was seven the second number? Yes, it was. Now, on to the third number. He stepped to the five that was on his right instead of the nine on his left or the three behind him. Was five the third number? No, it was not. Now it was time for a do-over. He first went to the Pop and Hoppies. He believed that it was $17 and not $25. Rachel revealed the price to be $25. I knew that one. wonder if most of you knew that too. So now, he went to the cake pop maker. He believed that it was $39 instead of $20. Uh, Rachel revealed the price to be $20. A very familiar price. So now he had to get the price of the nonstick waffle maker correct in order for him to keep on playing. He believed that it was $190 instead of $280. Uh, I think we probably know what happened here, folks. Rachel revealed the price to be $280 and the game was over. The actual retail price was $17,958. Guadalupe was the sixth and final contestant. She played take two for a chance to win these four prizes. A leather armchair that has a comfortable and compact design with a lofty foam core seat cushion modeled by Rachel an eco-friendly front-loading champagne-colored washer and dryer that was modeled by Rachel and Manuela, a 46-inch Samsung 3D HD LED TV that can sync media from multiple devices and has built-in Wi-Fi and Skype, two pairs of 3D glasses included, modeled by Manuela and Amber, and a pro-form treadmill that has, has built-in crosswalk, crosswalk workout arms, there you go, 16 workout programs and a 10 to and a 0 to 10 percent quick incline control. I don't really want to rush myself here, folks. Uh, that was modeled by Ann. Guadalupe had to find the two prizes that totaled four thousand seven hundred ninety-seven dollars. Guadalupe first shows the washer and dryer and the TV. The washer and dryer. $3,298. The TV, $2,999. And that was a total of $6,297. Well, for her second chance, Guadalupe decided to keep the TV, and she decided to pair that up with the treadmill. So, the HDTV was $2,999. And the price of the treadmill was only six hundred dollars, and that was a total of three thousand five hundred ninety-nine dollars. Uh, 
Uh, Guadalupe should have chose the, let's see, it was the washer and dryer and the leather armchair that was $1,499. So the washer and dryer, $3,298, and the armchair, $1,499. Those two together totaled $4,797. All right, now to the acknowledgments. According to Ben Mason Television and Clock Game, that's three last-second wins in a row. Why are these always happening? My guess is it's all luck. For Gas Money, this was the sixth playing this season, and we still don't have a winner. The losing streak is now 21. Somebody's going to win that car in $10,000 someday. Interesting note, a 16-piece set of Kai bath and body products. If you have a chance to win the Kai Room Linen Spray, go to PricesRight.com, of course. And no card games have been won this week. Maybe next week, perhaps? I would think so. Hopefully. And according to I'm 264 shirt, Francesca, the lady in the green spot in contestant's row, when Drew asked her, what do you say, as in, what do you bid, her response was, AWESOME! As she was trying to unleash her inner Miz there. <laughs> so then the week, folks, we had two pricing games. One, they were clock game and range game. A thousand dollars was won by Jamie for the clock game bonus. So, Jamie and John are the pricing game MVPs, and I do name Guadalupe the showcase MVP. She won her showcase that included an Apple iMac mini desktop computer that has a 500 gigabyte hard drive, 2 gigs of memory, a 27 inch monitor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth plus a state of the art processor with advanced graphics, a trip to Huntington Beach, California that included a two night stay in the Point Terra Suite including daily breakfast at the Shore Break Hotel and she will be going there by a chauffeured limousine. And both the computer and the trip were modeled by Rachel. The trip to Huntington Beach was at door number four in a distance. And she also won a 2013 Mini Cooper hardtop modeled by Amber. Guadalupe bid $22,307. Actual retail price, $25,336. For a difference of $3,029. Guadalupe won herself a grand total of $26,736 in prizes on today's show. Congrats. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week provided by Utterly Smooth Utter Cream. Get Utterly Smooth. Now it's time for the sponsor spoiler. Next week, the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap will be sponsored by these holiday movies. A Christmas Story, Elf, A Very Harold and Kumar Christmas, Home Alone, and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. What I plan to do for next week is to have these five movies not as, not as, like, all the sponsors on that one day. Like, for instance, Monday will be a Christmas story, if I do the recap, that is, unless certain price makes get played. You know, Tuesday is Elf, Wednesday, Barry Held and Kumar Christmas. Well, you get the picture, folks. So, speaking of next week, Tuesday will be the beginning of holiday shows. And I know that there are certain pricing games that members of the pricing game recap team want to do. Like for Martin S5 1989, he wants to do bonus games. For Sports Guy 528, he has Golden Road, Danger Price, and Switcheroo in waiting. And for Neil Rock 87, he has Three Strikes. Well, I informed members of the Price is Right pricing game recap team that I would love all of next week's recaps to be done on my channel because. I kind of planned this a couple of months in advance, that I plan to have members of the Pricing and Recap team join me on Skype as co-host, as this is my way of giving 
for the holiday season coming up. So expect members of the Pricing Game Recap team to join me for next week's Pricing Game Recap for the holidays. Until then, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, and have a great weekend.